Hello Pisces, this is Dee with Metaphysical Moonlighters. This is your um, February 2019 tarot reading. And again, I am known as Citrine on some social media outlets. I am doing an astrological spread for you this month. That's my favorite spread because I am an astrologer as well as an intuitive reader. So I'm going to pull at least one card for each of the 12 astrological houses. So you can fast forward to the reading. It will be somewhere around three and a half minutes. All right, so let's get into the reading. Let's start with house one. House one, what is in store for Pisces? For house one, February 2019, house one, Pisces. You have the Two of Cups. And I will get into all of the cards once I pick them out. Okay, so you're starting off great. Now, looking at your finances, what's in store for Pisces? As far as material possessions. You have the Princess of Wands. Moving on to House 3, which can deal with your communication style. You have the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay, let's see what's going on in your home and your family life, Pisces. Pisces, home and family life. You have the King of Swords reversed. Okay. Moving on to House 5, which can deal with fun, creativity, romance. Let's see. You have the Ace of Wands reversed. Moving on to House 6 which can deal with your daily routine as well as your health. You have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Let's move on to House 7. House 7 is all about partnerships, whether it's business or romantic partnerships. And you have the Five of Wands reversed. Okay. Moving on to House 8, which can deal with your transformation. House 8 is the Death and the Rebirth planet. You have the star card reversed. Moving on to house nine. House nine can be about legal matters as well as long distance journeys. You have the three of swords reversed. Okay, moving on to your area dealing with your career. You have the four of swords. Okay. And House 11 can deal with your friendships or your group associations. You have the Two of Swords reversed, Pisces. Okay, moving on to House 12, you have the Five of Swords. And House 12 can deal with your spirituality. Now, I'm going to pull one card from the Daily Guidance from your Angels Oracle deck. This deck I was using for these for this spread is the so below deck from the book of shadows okay here we go Pisces what is the message for Pisces for this month Pisces you have trustworthy guidance and I will read this card to you once I get into that part of the reading but right now let's get started house one look at this you have the two of cups House one is all about your outlook on life. It's about your personality, your demeanor. And you, Pisces, have the two of cups. This talks about love, friendship. So things are going great for you. You're feeling great in love. You're feeling like your friendships are going well. You're feeling happy. This is really great for you, Pisces. Remember, this is a general reading for all Pisces. So if it doesn't resonate with you, don't think about it too much. Just congratulate or support your fellow Pisces. Now, in the area of your life that deals with your finances, you have the Princess of Wands. In this deck, it's called the Knave of Wands, okay? So you have the Princess of Wands. So when it comes to dealing with your material possessions, you are very enthusiastic. You're even inventive you know like you're coming up with new ways to make money or bring money in so that's great now when it comes to your communication style 
you have the Ten of Swords reversed. So you are feeling liberated in the way that you communicate this month. So if you have been around someone and you, you know, you've been feeling like you've had to hold your tongue around them, you are feeling liberated and free. You know, you're feeling like changes in the air when it comes to the way you communicate. You won't be holding your tongue anymore. You, you know, you're feeling liberated. Like you can just express yourself the way that you want to express yourself. So even let's say, let's say because I'm getting a message from the guy saying that someone has been in the closet, whatever closet you're in, whether it's a professional closet, you know, or whatever, you're feeling like coming out of the closet, like I'm liberated. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. Love me or leave me. Okay. So something has happened for some of you Pisces where you are feeling liberated. You're feeling like you can express yourself, who you truly are. So maybe some of you have been hiding something. Maybe maybe you are into tarot and you've been hiding it. Now you're feeling liberated, like you can express that. Or let's say you are, you know, um, I don't know, gay or homosexual or something. And you've been in the closet. You're feeling like, you know what, I'm coming out of the closet. This is who I am. I don't care if nobody likes it. You know, this is who I am. So that's how a lot of Pisces are going to feel. It could even be something like maybe you have a business that a business you want to um, operate and you've been scared to tell people about it. But now you're feeling good about it. Like this is my business. This is what I do. You know, support me or get out of my way. So that's great. Now, moving on to your home and your family life, you have the King of Swords reversed, okay? <laughs> so some of you, and this goes along with whatever you are feeling liberated about, some of you, your family might not be accepting of that, but this is going to lead you to act like the King of Swords. You might be kind of militant, like, you don't like it, so what? This is who I am, you know? So this is what the King of Swords reversed represents. It can represent being a little bit mili uh, militant. So in your eyes, you might not be militant, but let's say you have, a, you have a traditional family. Your family can feel like you are out of control, you know. Meanwhile, you just feel like this is who I am, you know. You're not hiding anything anymore. So your family member might see that as you being militant. Okay, but don't worry about it. Stick to who you are. Now, you have the Ace of Wands reversed in the area of your life dealing with fun and creativity. So this can deal with the fact that some of you Pisces might be feeling blocked create, creative, um, creatively. You might feel creatively blocked. Okay, so just watch out for that. And then you have the Six of Pentacles in the area of your life that deals with your daily routine, which is really great because it's, it's showing that you are going to be a very generous person this month. And this could also point to some great job prospects for you, Pisces. Okay, so in the area of your life that deals with your partnerships, you have the Five of Wands reversed. This can deal with some type of suppressed anger or inner conflict okay so maybe at the beginning of the month maybe you're going to feel like this but at some point this month you are going to feel like this remember this you have the ten of swords reversed you're going to feel liberated you know you might start the month off feeling like you know you have inner conflict like should i come out of the closet or should I reveal to my family what I really do for money? But by the end of the month, you are going to feel liberated. You're going to feel like this Ten of Swords. You're going to feel like, you know what? It's more stress on me to keep this in than just to let people know who I really am. Okay? This is for Pisces. So that's good for you, Pisces. Now, moving on, you have the Star card reversed in the area of your life that deals with... Um, your transformation so just watch out for a little bit of low self-esteem at some point this month which looking at these two side by side you have inner conflict 
You have the inner conflict and low self-esteem. This could be how you're feeling before you decide to become liberated this month, Pisces. Nothing to worry about because it looks like whatever inner conflict you have, you will get over that this month. You're just going to be like, this is who I am. Love me or leave me. Okay, I'm going to write that down because I'm going to put that in the title. Love me or leave me. Okay. Now, in the area of your life that can deal with higher education, legal matters, you have the three of swords reversed. So this deals with the fact that if some of you have been dealing with any type of legal matter, it will be resolved soon. Or if there's anything that you've been dealing with surrounding higher education, legal matters, long distance journeys, getting your visas and everything together, it is going to be resolved. So that's good news for you. Now, looking at your career, you have the Four of Swords, okay? This talks about retreat and rest. So on your job, you're just going to be sort of like coasting. Like you might have a stable job. You're not trying to do too much this month, okay? You're just going with the flow. You're going to work, doing your job, getting along with your coworkers, resting when you need to rest. So that's great for you. Now, you do have the two of swords reversed in the area of your life that deals with your friendships. So there might be some one of your friends who is lying about something but the truth will come out soon okay so don't worry about that because the truth will come out soon and then you have the five of swords dealing with your spirituality okay so at some point this month you might feel like a sense of defeat in the secret that you're holding which this all ties in remember you, you have inner conflict here, which is directly opposite from house 12. House 12, you have this five of swords, which deals with a sense of defeat. So at some point this month, you're going to feel a sense of defeat. You're going to have like this inner conflict. You're feeling defeated. You're feeling conflict. But then you're like, might be feeling low self-esteem. And all of this is going to be building up in you this month for a lot of Pisces. All of these feelings are going to be building up in you to the point where you just bust free. This ten of, uh, to the point where you just bust free. You're like, this is who I am. This is who I am. If you don't like it, it's your problem. You're freeing yourself from your burdens. That's what this talks about. Okay, so you might start the month off worried, feeling low self-esteem, feeling like, you know, just a conflict within yourself. But by the end of the month, you are going to be liberated. Okay, so that is great news for you, um, Pisces. Now, let's get into your reading. Not your reading, get into your message. You have trustworthy guidance, okay? So, you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. So remember, if you're thinking about coming, um, exposing yourself to your family and your friends, it is a great idea. That's what this card talks about. It's a great idea. Your angels are supporting you. Just be who you are. You know, if you have some type of rated X business and you know, you've been scared to tell your family about it, just come out with it. Whatever your secret is. Whatever your secret is. Remember, this is house 12. House 12 can deal with secrets. Whatever your secret is. Don't feel defeated about it, okay? Don't feel defeated. Don't feel like no one is going to be happy for you. Don't worry about if somebody's going to be happy for you. You be happy for yourself, okay? You see in this picture... This lady is receiving an award. Meanwhile, her co-workers or family members, whoever, they're looking at her side-eyed like, hmm, she didn't deserve that. So at some point, you might feel a sense of defeat like, nobody's going to be happy for me. Nobody's going to love me. Just get those thoughts out of your head because your angels are supporting you. 
okay? Your angels are supporting you on your decision to be who you are. So you have to be happy for yourself. Don't worry about if anyone else is going to be happy for you or if anyone else is going to accept you. Because remember, your vibe attracts your tribe. I love that saying. I don't know who came up with that saying. It wasn't me. I'm just quoting someone else. I don't know who said it. But I know I've read that somewhere. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Okay? So if your family cuts you off, just know that you have other people out there who are going to be like family to you. Okay? So if your family doesn't accept you or your friends don't accept you, Remember, you have some other people who will be loving to you, who you maybe haven't even met yet. So that's everything I have for you. Oh, wait, let me just throw some dice for you. Because again, I am an astrologer, so I'm joined to everything dealing with astrology. So let's see. Okay. All right. So, and remember, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is dealing with House Six, okay? You have Saturn. Aries, house six, okay? Aries is the action zodiac sign. Saturn is the planet that wants you to um, check off the list, make sure everything is done correctly, okay? So just make sure in your daily routine, on your job, make sure you don't do any goofing off. That's what this is talking about, okay? You see here, Saturn is all about doing things the right way. Aries is taking action. House 6, see that? House 6 can deal with your daily routine. So on your job, even though you want to take it easy this month, you just want to take it easy. You're not trying to do too much this month, right Pisces? But make sure you're doing your job what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So don't just go to work and sit around. And just feel like, oh, I'm just taking it easy today. You still have to do your work, okay? Even though you're coming out, you're feeling fantastic, you know, you're being who you want to be. You still have to do what you need to do as far as on your job. Okay, so that's just an extra message for you. And if you want a message, a dice message like this, just contact me. I think I'm going to add this onto my website as an additional reading that I do. It might be something like, I might do... Anyway, you might see it on my website as an additional reading because I love these dice and they're so on point. And also comment below and let me know what you think about the reading I gave with these dice, if it was on point for you or what. So if you have liked this video, press the like button. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done so already, just click the subscribe button so that you can receive notification when I Put another video out and again visit my website metaphysicalmoonlighters.com if you would like a reading you can book it there online and until next month pisces enjoy your month